Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Lus Hills Harley-Davidson and this is a Hot Rod Fat Boy Milwaukee 8, 414 cubic inch 119 foot pounds of torque I think that's 161 newton meters She is a beauty and we are going to take this brilliant billiard blue hot rod for a ride 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Oh, Basani pipe on the back That is beautiful. Let's go take this thing for a spin. Oh, what a beauty, what a beauty. Of course, it's got that great Harley clutch. We're down here at Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com, check out all these bikes. They got uh, about 200 bikes here on site. Oh, this thing sounds good. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. It handles like a, it feels light. That's amazing for a, I think it's a 700 pound bike, 699 pounds. Let's try to follow one of these tracks. I think that's 317 kilos or something like that. Where am I going here? <laughs> Handles very well. I am very impressed with the handling. <laughs> Look at that. What a dream, what a dream. I like it. I like it a lot. What a piece of art. Rolling art. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's hit the road. If you all are in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourselves down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, in Southwest Iowa, or check them out on their website, LusHillsHD.com. Beautiful. I love the transmissions. These transmissions, these six shooter transmissions are just amazing. Uh, sitting, I sit on the bike, nice comfortable seat. It's a low seat. I'll give you the numbers when we stop and talk. Top parts of my legs are running a little downhill. My heels are forward to my knees. The bars, it's a very slight reach. I wouldn't even say it's a reach. My back feels straight up and down. I think this is very comfortable. The seat is extra wide and very comfortable, just as it is. What a dream, what a dream. That pipe is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Speedometer right there, analog. Odometer down here, I think you can change the settings in there. Okay, that's trip A, trip B, range, time, RPM. We'll leave it on RPM, we'll go back to that. Back to odometer, oh, let's go. It does have a gear indicator and a fuel fuel gauge right there. At 60 miles an hour, we are tacking 21, almost 2200 RPM. Amazing. The seating position is very comfortable on this four lane. I like it, very upright. I love cruising motorcycles, they're about my favorite style. And this is a king of the cruiser kind of bike. I just, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. The clutch is superb as all Harley clutches are. Harley has the M8 engine with a six shooter transmission and this phenomenal clutch and then they've got this incredible amount of feel on the shifter here. Just a really good combination. I am just barely giving it juice and it is very responsive and we are in third gear of all things. I love the way it handles. I just love the way it handles. The view here is phenomenal. This chrome front end, this beer can front end, the chrome bars, the, you know, the gauge on the tank. Fat boy, it says. The mirrors on Harleys, of course, I, I've raved about those for years. You know, they got the round with the elongation. Get yourself down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com, and uh, get yourself on this bike and point them, have them point you to this road. This is just an amazingly fun road to ride and run on, especially with this bike. It's got an interesting quiver to it, you know, not a shake or a vibration, but a nice, you know the bike's running for sure. I think the wheelbase is 65.6 inches at 1,666 millimeters. The forks are 49 millimeters. They're uh, Showa, dual bending valve, whatever that means. Cartridge tight, forks, they're it, very good feel, by the way. All Harleys are like that anymore. They're just amazing handling. The amount of travel on the front is 5.1 inches or about 130 millimeters. The rear is a monoshock that is adjustable. There's a little knob on the right side of the bike. 
and I think it's about 3.4 inches or about, um, I think it was 80 millimeters. <laughs> Talk about a neat sounding motorcycle. Talk about a, oh, what a, what a dream. What a dream this thing is, huh? Just a phenomenal bike. Look at that, very good, easy to turn, easy to handle. That clutch is just incredible. Wahoo! <laughs> okay, we better calm down a little bit here, huh? This is a bike that's easy to uh, power with. It, uh, it looks good, it rides good, it feels good, it sounds incredible. The only shortcoming a stock Harley has is the pipe, I'll tell you that right now. And this has got that Basanti pipe to take care of that problem. I love the seat, I love the seating position. I really feel like I've got good control of this thing. I think I mentioned the weight already, 699 pounds wet. I think that's uh, 317 kilograms. This motor is nothing but torque, I mean to tell you. <laughs> what a dream, what a dream. I love it and I love this color. You know, the brakes on this thing are great. Anybody behind us? No? Let's try them, okay? Look at that, straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. I can't tell if this is a, I think this is a single disc up front. I believe it's a 300 millimeter with a four piston caliper on the front and a 296 or something like that millimeter on the rear with a two piston caliper. Look at this, right over these rough spots, not a problem. That's one thing about the uh, Harley. Harley. Harley made a deal with the motorcycle gods. They got the uh, extra weight, but they got the low seat height, the longer bike, and they got the phenomenal handling. And that's that's a result of the, the uh, 699 pound weight. They also got the ability to make the bike uh, just handle like, like a kitten, you know, just what a dream, what a dream. This clutch is just incredible. I love these Harley levers. These Harley levers are about my favorite. Well, let's see what we can do about getting to 60. Well, that's 60. Amazing, amazing. I was afraid I was gonna hit the rev limiter on these. I've done that quite a few times on these bikes. What a machine, what a machine. I love it. As far as handling goes, this is a large motorcycle for sure, 699 pounds wet. So pushing it around the garage is gonna be a chore, but on the plus side, it's got an incredibly low center of gravity. I can feel that here just putting right now. The bike does not feel heavy. The access point, the turn point, is very low on the motorcycle. So very controllable in that sense, but yet a heavy bike. Five miles to 25 miles an hour, I think it's, I did that in that little course, had absolutely no trouble at all. It performed flawlessly, very good balance. You know, it's got these massive tires. A lot of people don't like that, but I think they, they add a lot to the experience. And then from 25 to 70, I think we had it at 75. This thing is just a dream. As far as the interstate goes, I could ride this, I could put 700 miles on this in a day. The seating position is just exactly what I like. Straight back, feet forward, it's got giant running running boards. Just phenomenal, just phenomenal. I don't want to stop. <laughs> let's, let's just kind of do a little thing around the parking lot. Pan American, oh, look at those gorgeous motorcycles. Okay, you know what, let's park this thing and we'll get the camera out and do a little bit of a walk around. I'm going to start with the pipe on this. This is this Basanti 2 into one absolutely amazing sounding bike, Basani. Just look at that. I'm assuming there's a baffle in there, I don't know, but the thing just, it was a, you know, the sound of the gods kind of thing, just beautiful. And look at the quality of that pipe, I mean, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The color is Brilliant billiard blue. Okay, let's start with the engine. It's an M8, 114 cubic inch. That's 1,868 cubic centimeters. It's got four valves per cylinder. So eight valves total, so the Milwaukee 8 there. Oil cooled top end. Has 10 and a half to one compression. Air cooled through here, then oil cooled bottom end. It's a push red engine with a cam down here. Way proven technology, just a beautiful I really feel it's one of Harley's, I think it's actually Harley's best engine. It's just a phenomenal operating thing. There's the oil cooler right there, kind of hidden away. You have to look for it actually. 119 foot pounds of torque, 161 newton meters. Now look at these tires. That's the next thing I gotta point out. The rims are called Lakester cast aluminum wheels. And look at that. They're just phenomenal. They're a little different than, you know, before. 
you all catch the difference? They've got these spaces in there now. So you got the big disc like before, but you've got these spaces now in here. And I do like that look. I like that a lot. Before I forget, let's mention the six-speed transmission, that six-shooter, I call it. You always know if you're in or out of gear, just the perfect kind of a transmission. And it goes well with this amazing clutch. Front tire is a 160-60-18, 160 millimeters. Look at that. Amazing. And the rear tire, and even more amazing, 240 by 40, 18. Look at that. That's like 10 or 11 inches wide. I love the little Harley symbols on there, on the sides. I already talked about the brakes. I think it's a 300 millimeter disc with a four, it's a fixed, oh, that's a floating disc. That is not a fixed disc. With a four piston floating caliper. And the rear is a 292 millimeter floating disc with a two piston caliper. And the brakes were great. We did that little brake test and uh, just even just normal using them. It was just excellent feel. I just love the way this looks like a rigid back end. The front has Showa 49 millimeter forks. They are covered behind this gear, beer can style thing here. Travel is about 5.1 inches on the front. That's 130 millimeters. Down the rear, it's got a monoshock, and I believe the monoshock is up under the seat now. This time it's controllable with this lever here. You can just reach down and turn that so you get a passenger or whatever, it's right there. And the, the travel on the rear is 3.4 inches, that's 86 millimeters. Wheelbase, a whopping 65.6 inches. At 1,666 inches. The trade-off for that long wheelbase is a low seat height of 26.6 inches. That's right down on the floor. You know, very low, long, lean, low bike. By the way, the tank is five gallons. It's 19 liters. And the weight of this monster, this beautiful thing, and this is really hard to believe when you ride one. It's easy to believe when you see it, but when you ride one, it's just amazing. 699 pounds. It's 317 kilograms. Uh, this is available in vivid black, bright billiard blue like this, gray haze and silver, and heirloom red fade. I would love to see that one. The uh, online, the heirloom red fade had a kind of a red in here too. Just a gorgeous bike, isn't it? So let's just kind of go over the style of this thing now. First off, it's a very muscular looking bike. Everything is, you know, in the right spot. Everything is, the lines are perfect. There's no holes, nothing left undone. Everything is just phenomenal. I just love, love, love how they've done everything on this. You know, this front end, look at that in there. Harley symbol in there. This. You know, this whole thing right here. The beer camp front end, they call that. Match that with these uh, Lake, Lakester wheels, you know, and this massive fender. Blue fender with the silver stripe. I keep calling that pewter, maybe it is. Of course, the tank. Very individualistic uh, logo right there. Just gorgeous. I asked if this was aftermarket or not. That's actually stock on the bike. Isn't that just. Wow, you know, fat boy right there. Gorgeous. And then you come back here to this ultra wide fender. Of course, you need that for that tire. What did I say? 240 for the back tire. And there's that massive fender. The taillights must be integrated into this. I like that. You know, the blinkers, taillights, and everything in one spot. I love the way that it has all the old styling, you know, the stays, the big fender, the curved up seat like that. Of course, the big running boards. I love running boards on a motorcycle. I love cruiser type bikes. So, you know, this fits me very well. Uh, let's jump up here right quick. You know, it looks very minimalistic, but there is some stuff here. Let's talk about the switch gear. This is the button you use to change things in the uh, in this section here. Let's see if we can get that to come to life. Look at that, like a Christmas tree. No ABS. Fuel gauge. So if I hit this button here, watch this area right here. Mileage, trip A, trip B, uh, range I'm guessing, in miles, 62 miles. The time, that would be where the tack is. We were using that earlier. And of course, back to the odometer. And all that's controlled with this button right here. Let's shut that off. Uh, high lows for the lights. Oh, it looks like it has passed the flash. Blinker for the left side, a real cruise control. You push it to turn it on, you push it down to set it, push it up to resume. Also plus or minus right there. It's just amazing. Isn't that just, look at that whole front end. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. Kill switch, run switch, start switch, hazard lights, right blinker, throttle, of course. Now I want to point out this. I always point this out because it means that much to me. These are some of the best, if not the best, levers and motorcycles today. I just love the way they work with my hands. They're wide. They've got a good bend, sweep. They've got a good radius on the sides. They just feel excellent. Get yourself down here to Les Hills Harley Davidson and check that out. And they work so well with that clutch. Oh, I just noticed these bars are extra thick. 
Ah, we used to call those buffalo bars. I wonder what they call them now. Forks are non-adjustable, by the way. The rear end is. I just don't know where to stop with this thing. It's just fabulous. I mean, I could live with this stock. You know, the only thing I'd want on it is a sissy bar in the back and maybe a bag. One bag would do me. And I love the color. I just love the color. I'm a red guy, but I could live with this very easily. There it is right there. Lust Hills Harley Davidson. Give those guys a call. If you're all in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson. They've got a whole shed full of them back there of used ones. They got a whole mess of new ones in there. They got these bikes sitting out here. Get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley Davidson. They're right off Interstate 29. I think it's exit 35. They can help you out. They got a great sales crew. You know, you know what? It's a beautiful day. If the weather's nice where you're at, hop on your bike and go for a ride. You know what? I'm going to do the same. Wahoo! What a bike. What a bike. I am totally in love.